morning. Thank you so much for your taking time with us to enjoy your, uh, our breakout session here. And I think everybody maybe have a good uh, yesterday session. So uh, let's welcome again, welcome to Hangzhou and welcome to Alibaba Cloud uh, Global Summit. Huh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Bridge Song. And, uh, yeah, I'm re mainly responsible for the MNC K accounts. So I think it's a great honor for me to on the stage to have this opportunity to share with everybody here about what our thinking and what our insights about our portfolio and user cases. So uh, I think that's uh, first of all, uh, it's because of the Asia game. So I have this opportunity to get together here. So I think the first one we want to uh, start with a short video about Asia game. Let's take a closer look at Asia games. Okay. Small no? Asian okay. games are taking place on the cloud. Cloud broadcasting services improve the viewing experience. DingTalk Intelligent Platform improves collaboration. AI models improve more creation. Smart Asian games. Alibaba Cloud accelerates innovation. Alibaba Cloud. Okay, so think about it. After 110 years, when Asian games meets Hangzhou, or Hangzhou meets Asian games, what will happen, right? So as we can see in the video, I think I will, uh, I will see the cloud computing completely accelerating innovation in Asia games, right? Uh, from the three aspects, I think the first one, I, I know that uh, the Chris, the yesterday the session, Chris has shared lots of uh, details about uh, the Asia game. So I think everybody have a fully understanding about that. So I just want to set, uh, highlight, uh, emphasize that in these three uh, aspects. The first one is the maker, is to make organizing the Asia game is very more expensive, right? With the Ya Yun Ding, it's specialized for the Asia games. And, uh, and also the, all the key core system are running on Alibaba Cloud, including the, 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 uh, the game system, a uh, core system, and the uh, record uh, distribution system, and the game uh, administration system, right? And second one, I think, is make participating in this uh, Asia game is more convenient, right? So we have the Ya Yun Xing, uh, it's for the other elements and all the cultures. They can ha have easy paths to join this event, join this Asia game. And last one, but not least, is uh, spectating uh, very, oh, I think that's very wonderful, right? Uh, we, we're using Alibaba Cloud to provide the cloud broadcasting, so you can have more and more the, the di digitalized scenario and different types of videos, short videos as well. So I think that's uh, what's what's this? This is the answer. Uh, one Hangzhou missed the Asia Games. They they made uh, very smart Asia Games after 110 years later. So I think you can see on the the bottom is very key important. I think it's a very key reason to make this happen. The first one is because of the first one digital. Hangzhou or digital Zhejiang. Yeah, you know that the Hangzhou governments put lots of investment in digital strategy and digital construction. And they make this everything happen. You know that the, all the Asia, the visitors, the audience, they can use their electronic uh, take, take it, to take the train and the, 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 all the bus is for free. And second one is the Hangzhou Asia Games Organizing uh, Committee they, they are leading this project, leading the whole huge project, and their strategy is very important. And they have very strong leadership to uh, cooperate with other teams here. And the last, third one, sure, is Alibaba Cloud, and our, our partners, we joined the events, joined the efforts to make this happen. So that's in Hangzhou. But I think Hangzhou, it's the, uh, the issue game is just uh, that's a very special case in, in Hangzhou. No, it's definitely no. In Hangzhou, in China, there's so many digital cases, so many successful cases. So I think that to, as 
I think looking into the China, you can see the digital transformation trends uh, in China. The first one definitely is compliance and security. Uh, oh, sorry, the first one is the, the strategy for the uh, all the Chinese company, uh, MNC company going into China market. The first strategy is in China for China, and then they will. Uh, have the planning to make digital transformation strategy. And second one is the digital transformation. They want to do the digital technology acceleration. And third one, the operations is very resilient, right? The, 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 they want to uh, uh, help this optimize their business operation uh, and to including reduce the operations cost and improving the business uh, flexibilities and remove all sustainable the business operations. Right? Also, the global enterprise needs to choose most suitable local digital partner when and can facilitate all the upgrade of digital uh, uh, traditional value chains and accelerate the digital transformation of the their infrastructure. Right? And the last one is for the innovation. How, sorry. So the last one is for innovation the efficiency, right? So with the Alibaba, with the digital technology, they take the, they take this happen. So I think taking these elements, we can see that all the MNC uh, in China they are facing so many challenges, right? The first one based on the, uh, I've said this number one is all about uh, money, so about the budget and the cost. So the other the that this you should DT is not a, a short investment. It's a really very important long-term investment and strategy. And second one, the expertise, right? The lack of the expertise in digitalization in China, uh, uh, and uh, also the employees, companies require more business and uh, technology, technical the uh, person, uh, professionals, right? And the localization is uh, very important. The compliance and the localization to fully compliance in China and make their business sensible. And next is the compliance, I mean the long-term long -term, uh, compliance to uh, response to the compliance of privacy. So like in China, you, we can have the PIPL and the uh, CSL and also the cross-border uh, transfer uh, law, right? And last one is a very important long-term strategy. So for the for the all the digital uh, strategy, you must have a patient. You must have a clear planning and very details the, the the milestone to make it happen. Okay, to change this this market. And and then for Alibaba, based on all the the characteristics of MNC digital trends and this in China mentioned that the above. And Alibaba Cloud has a campaign of the back practice and we have our own summarized the five steps, the digital transformation approach, right? So the first one is uh, uh, keep security and compliance is at the number one very important thing uh, to make the customer uh, avoid the risk, right? And second to uh, and, and and uh, migrating the second step is to cloud, right? So all the things we running cloud. So we call cloud first and cloud native. So this will be uh, support enterprise developing cloud first plans and uh, the strategies, uh, facilitating the in planning, uh, design, and migrating in, in, uh, implementation of cloud migration. And the second one, uh, third one is the data driven operations. I think this is uh, Alibaba will leverage Alibaba's big data capabilities. Enterprise can quick build the data uh, development and the operations and the management uh, capabilities in the cloud, improving the efficiency uh, of data utilization uh, and enabling rapidly rapid decision making uh, business operations. Right, and the fourth one is the digital core business. Here is the, you, you can read. Reactacting the, to the cloud native will be very uh, high efficiency to make this uh, corp uh, digital uh, corp uh, corporation, right? Uh, and uh, this will fully leverage the Alibaba Group's e-commerce uh, capabilities. Okay, the last one on the list is uh, AI-driven. Okay, AI-driven, that means the uh, 
uh, innovation can be created by so many high technology. Uh, AI adoption is a very high priority strategy for many enterprises so far. So through Alibaba Cloud AI solution, I think that uh, the services enterprise can enhance their AI innovation capabilities and uh, elevate their business value. And, and on the, uh, the, the bottom of them, we have the consulting and the cloud digitalization expertise uh, to, uh, to support all the technical things. And also we have the cellular cloud, the, 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 the teams to give them some enablement uh, to, and the training to help them to grow up and to make this, this happen, okay? Okay, so in China we have so that see the all the trends and the um, our methodology. But to look to the South East Asia, uh, it's the same thing. It's, it's happening, right? So additionally, uh, Alibaba offers a range of uh, driving engine of a global economic growth, right? With uh, with uh, Asia emerging as the as a very important uh, house house part, right? It comes continuously to. Uh, Thrive in Southeast Asia with the increasing number of local business moving to online platforms. Right, Techno the technological we can see that there's so many technological investment and to drive the high speed growth in Southeast Asia, leading an improvement in the digital capabilities in the region. Right, and the, also we can see uh, so. Yeah, also the accelerating the digital business operations, just like I mentioned in China, and also rapid increase in the cloud adoption by business. Okay, so this is very similar with China, but it's the falling China here. And on the other side, we can see that uh, the China as influencer is is going to influence. Uh, going influencing the Asia part, especially in Southeast Asia. There are so many the companies that they are may remain, you know, China remains one of the leaders of the digital uh, economy, and the Chinese companies are committed to share their best practice to Southeast Asia, just like Alibaba Cloud as well. And some of the key initiatives and the uh, practice of Chinese companies bring out, like we can see here, is a deep partnership on digital economy. We are the uh, we, we call the Yidai uh, Yilu, our digital uh, digital silk, silk road and the bat and the uh, uh, road uh, innovative right? initiative. Uh, and also the so many the major players they are you have the e-commerce and IT experience they will extend their infrastructure in South Asia. And uh, uh, all the assets uh, assist the uh, ICA uh, Southeast Asia can learn the uh, China's the the, the digital uh, ecosystem. So so many digital ecosystem they are moving to Southeast Asia. So we call this uh, uh, a very important uh, ecosystem partnership. And then we extend the technology. Yeah, the so many the technology services uh, uh, in Southeast Asia. The last one at least to promote advanced technology with the uh, of the mutual business uh, and uh, uh, so many business models, right? So I think that's uh, is a very important this moment. Uh, China and Southeast Asia uh, for Alibaba Cloud, we are trying to uh, to make this happen not only China but also in Southeast Asia. So let's. Uh, uh, seizing the momentum and uh, expand our business from China to Asia. So we also think to help all the customers from China to Asia. Okay, so, uh, so uh, the last one, I think this, uh, just like what I mentioned, Alibaba has this uh, uh, cloud, has this uh, uh, strategy and very important investment in South Asia, Asia. So we called, we get it started in China, but we can uh, have the accelerating in Asia path. So here we just li I just list some of the advantage uh, in uh, uh, Southeast Asia of the Alibaba Cloud's advantage. First one, we are the number one. Definitely, we have the fully very uh, huge coverage in Southeast Asia, and also we have the, the China the best practice. We move and copy them to Southeast Asia, and also the ecosystem. Just like what I mentioned, we, we move to Southeast Asia. And uh, other side, I think that we have also the cost effective. Uh, it's very important for the South East Asian market. 
And last one is we, we bring so many digital innovation, okay, to to build the, the, the innovation and the more creative things in, in Southeast Asia. Okay, the last one I just want to show you this is all the uh, industrial solutions and the portfolio best practice here. Uh, in the, I think that's, uh, we really look forward to, the, to seeing the opportunities. So over this session, my colleagues will uh, demonstrate the full landscape of Alibaba Cloud, the capabilities in, in serving China and Southeast Asia as well. So the, we, from the retail, B2B digital commerce, and also finance uh, services, and also the uh, AI innovation based on our cloud native and the uh, cloud migration, uh, cloud uh, security and compliance, and the data and the AI infrastructure. Okay, so I think that we really look forward to have more discussion with our right here and to have more success in China and Asia. Okay, that's all from my side. Thank you so much.